Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick review. Uh, some people were asking about the Echo One. There's all kinds of different directions as far as people say, why would you want to buy that? Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Buy yourself a scope. You know, they run about 1200 bucks. But you know what? You can, they're, they're, the price has gotten cheaper on them, okay? Because there's not a lot of people buying those. However, I think of it differently, okay? I do have an Echo One. I do use it for a specific reason. And on this video, you're going to find out what that used for. If you were to ask me if I have a preference as an adult, I would have a preference to go with a scope, whether it be Pulsar or Trigicon, whatever, I, I don't know, whatever you want to use that's out there, high end, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to tell you what to get. But don't roll it out just yet on the uh, on the Echo One. Echo One has a different use for it, in my opinion, uh, and it depends on how you look at it. Scope rifles are called scope rifles. This is a reflective sight, okay? So, you know, you don't really go hunting with reflective sights even on day sights, okay? Usually used for tactical reasons, uh, for quick acquisition of targets, a quick shooting. That's usually what a reflective sight is. So anyway, check out the video. Uh, you're going to see, uh, I'm going to go a little bit to a quick review on it, uh, just a couple of quick notes. You're going to see a young man that's going to be uh, uh, shooting it, and uh, this is where it really it's a big deal. Uh, and look at the excitement in that young man. You tell that young man that the Echo One doesn't work, and then look at the the pig and the coyote that he shot there. Uh, towards the end, um, right at the very end, after after that shot, I'm going to have the father and the son talk a little bit about that and what their experience was with the Echo One. Because I think you need to hear from somebody else, not just what I'm telling you. Uh, I, I I'm not. I'm not selling these. I don't give a crap about these things. It's a tool, and this is how I use this tool, okay? Uh, it works for me for a very particular reason, and you'll see on the video why. And if you hang out all the way to the end, I'll actually go over the unit. Uh, I'm sitting in my backyard going over the unit and go over all the different pellets, the zooming in, all that good stuff, so you can kind of get an idea of what you're looking at. I actually got a pig in the back. It's about 80 yards away, uh, wrapped in foil, the uh, 3D target, so you can actually get a pretty good idea. Um, I want to. I just wanted to give a little bit better review than what I've seen. So hopefully this works out for you guys and it helps. Okay. I picked up a new toy. I picked up the Sig Echo One. It's a uh, it's a nifty little scope. I, I you know I didn't think anything. Uh, I haven't been looking anything outside of Pulsar. I've been looking at a few different ones, but uh, but cost is a big deal, right? So I wanted to pick up another a uh, another scope. Uh, so when we have some extra clients, but they're expensive, right? So. Um, um, I looked at, we ran into the Echo One, we went to the gun range, and the, uh, I ran into this thing, and I told the guy, well, let me check it out. I checked it out, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I was able to see out to 100 yards pretty good, pretty simple. Uh, I just sighted it in, simple to sight in. The, uh, I sighted it in at 50 yards, we're going to do it 100 yards a bit. But the uh, this thing is pretty impressive. I'm seeing things real clearly out to 100 yards. So uh, we're going to do, we're going to go and, uh, do some uh, shooting tonight for hogs, see how it works out. But man, it's great, especially this AR556. Yeah, I'll, I'll end up putting on a uh, 308 uh, later. But man, this thing is uh, great. So when I take somebody that doesn't want to carry a heavy 308 with, with the Pulsar, which is a lot heavy, when we go out at night, the, and you put this in your, uh, when you look at the Pulsar, it blinds you. So this is supposed to be set up so where you can go out there and shoot, and you're looking right through here, and you see it, and it's just like a, uh, um, uh, re reflective, uh, is it reflective? I forget what they call what we call the sights, but the uh, uh, so all you're doing is just <laughs> put the dot on there and then just shoot and move. You're not having your eye right inside, so I don't know. I'm really excited to see how this is going to work out. We're going to try it out tonight, Cody, see what it looks like. Uh, Echo One, give you some more feedback here in a little bit. All right, so what we're getting ready to talk about a little bit, we just went on a uh, on a hog hunt. We got some coyotes. We got we did quite a bit of stuff here. So the um, what I want to talk about is that rifle you're holding. So that rifle you're holding is a uh, is a uh, AR-15, a .223, and it's got a Sig Echo. Um, there's not a lot of reviews out there for the uh, Sig Echo. Actually, people going out and shooting with them and firing them. And the few reviews that we've gotten have been uh, a few negative ones. Uh, I wanted to do a different spin on this. And I want to let these these uh, these uh, two gentlemen right here that actually got to fire, and you tell me what you thought of it. Go ahead. Go ahead, young man. I mean, it lays them down. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I have to say that, uh, you know, doing this is his first hog hunt. 
Uh, it's definitely his first thermal hunt. I was a little nervous. Um, was trying to just focus with him and, and keep him focused and try and watch what he was doing. And I tell you, this, uh, this, this scope here, it gives the, um, the person standing behind for, uh, you know, youth hunters definitely, for somebody standing behind and watching over, trying to help them out and, and trying to give them a reference of what they need to do and where they need to stay pinpointed to, is definitely a good scope. I mean, I will definitely say that. I was very shocked and very surprised how well I was able to see uh, into the scope from just from behind him. Um, very good screen, very clear, uh, with a very good definition of the hogs. Um, obviously, you know, you can tell by our hogs here, uh, he shot the biggest one out of the night. So, I mean, you know, obviously that speaks for itself. I mean, you know, uh, I told him, I said, you know, you got to find the biggest one. You know, this is your first pig, so find the biggest one. And, and I, de I tell you, I was watching the whole thing. He found the biggest one, stayed right on it, and you could see everything clear as day. Every shot you could see perfect. It was very amazing. Very good, very good quality. And, and we were about what? What do you guys say about? Seventy-five yards. About seventy-five yeah, yards yeah. away. And it was. It was. Had a good sight picture yes on there. Sir. Very good. I mean, you could you could definitely tell the detail of where you wanted to put your shot placement. I mean, you could see you could it would it honestly it looked like through the scope that the that the pig was literally ten yards away. Once you got it figured out where you wanted to put it, you know, with your different settings on your scope. Um, it was definitely a, a very easy scope for him to use to, to put a good shot place, placement on his pigs. And it's, it's really good for follow-up shots. Yeah, and yeah. I, let me ask you a question. That setup, is it is it heavy or is it light compared to the other ones? It's really, it's really light. Probably like <laughs> 5 to 10 pounds. Yeah, I, was very, <laughs> I was very surprised how well he was able to control the, the, the weapon, um, how well he was able to use it, you know, to, to get... A secure shot and feel confident with the with the weapon you know he, it was a very good piece of equipment for him to use tonight well good deal i'm i'm glad you enjoyed it and i appreciate you guys doing the review on this because uh, i want to get it from somebody else and not just us so thanks a lot guys well thank you very much we appreciate the opportunity of uh using it very good and, and this is what we said this is the the sig uh echo echo one so it's you know what let's if we're uh for the type of uh, 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 um, scope that it is, a reflex, is it reflex? Yeah. yeah the uh, ref, reflex, I forget how you say it. It's a, it's a scope. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a very good one. Okay, very so, good. well, good. And, oh, by the way, the proof's in the pudding, right? Proof in the pudding, right? Yep, here. shot a coyote, shot a pig. Got a goat, got his first pig, first goat, first pig. Been a, been a very good, very good evening for him. First thermal? Good job, first buddy. First thermal, very first thermal. And, and you know what? And there's a key thing to what you said. This is great as a uh, uh, for youth yeah. uh, on, yeah. on a first thermal, so that way the adult can be in the back and yes. actually be able to yes. see yes. it. So very, very good for, for training a, a youth. And that's what, you know, that's what this is all about, keeping our uh, youth educated and keeping this tradition going. That's what, uh, you know, that's definitely what this is all about, because without them, we ain't got nothing. I like all it. guys with us. I like it. All right. Amen to that. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks again. All right. We'll see you all later. Thank you all very much. Hey, everybody. Wanted to show you the Echo One um, Thermal by Sig. The uh, I picked this up, and uh, you, know, you know how it is. There are a lot of people don't like them, uh, have issues with them. Uh, everybody's different, right? So uh, my I picked this up to because it's really lightweight, uh, great for kids, uh, or somebody that just wants to carry a lighter weapon. And as you can see here, as you're looking through it, you see a pig way out there. It's actually a uh, 3D target uh, pig that I wrapped in foil. Oh, by the way, it's a good trick for those that want to be sighting him in. But as you can see, 80 yards away, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Look at that, 80 yards, you can see it just fine. And by the way, what I'm seeing is a lot better than what you're seeing in this, in this video. So quality is a little bit better. Okay, so 80 yards. Uh, there's some cows out there as well. You can see the cows. No problem. Those guys are about about the same, about 80 yards. There they are, zooming into the cows. See them there? So, wanted to show you a little bit of the Echo. Um, a lot of people say they, they don't just don't like them. Uh, the kids I've taken out with them already have already put pigs down. Adult has, uh, Cody has uh, put pigs down as well. Uh, so it hits worked out pretty good and like i said there you go 80 yards it's got a pretty good pretty good sight picture i could shoot i could shoot it from right here and, and kill it no problem i got on a 223 and works just fine um so you get a great field division as well so if there's something out there we can spot it as well okay so anyway 
the Echo One Sig. Uh, not a bad. Oh, let me go over the color palettes as well. Show you a little bit here. A couple of different color palettes. And again, it's not high end, but right now you're get, able to get these for about a thousand bucks. I take that back, even less than that. Uh, you shop around. There's many uh, places you can find them now. So it's a good, it's a good starter. And it's uh, nothing fancy, but it works. Yeah, you, know, you can't afford. Uh, uh, there's some other stuff that they're coming out with, and I don't work for anybody. Um, AT is coming out with a cheap one for about a th about a thousand bucks, twelve hundred bucks somewhere around there. Uh, so again, the uh, lots of options for you to choose from. Um, this is just one. Up, oh, went too far. I want to go back to black hot. So there you go. Zoom in. You can see the pig really good. So not trying to sell you on what to get. Just want to show you. Gives people options. This is the the Echo One. Okay, by Sig. So nothing, nothing, uh, nothing fancy. We had a party here with my grandkids, and uh, they're uh, they're inside building toys right now. <coughs> but um, not a bad little deal. You saw that at 80 yards, and uh, it does the uh, it does a trick, you know. So if you want to get into something, or you, somebody's offering you one of these for for a cheap price, hey, I say go for it. You know, it uh, it works. So don't let somebody tell you what you should and shouldn't get. Uh, everybody's got a certain amount of money that they can spend. Uh, if it was a personal thing for me, I'd, I'd go with this uh, scoped thermal. Um, yeah, Pulsar, I, I, I've said it over and over, I love those. Uh, but again, not everybody can afford those, right? So uh, uh, do what you can afford. And uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, SIG Echo One uh, seems to work just fine uh, for the price point. So get you out there. And, and trust me, um, trying to get you a little bit further. Let's see. We got some cows way out there. Let me see if I can find them first. Let's see if we can find them. They're out there somewhere. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Let's find our pig. Okay, there's some cows way back there. See them way back there? They're about, oh, they're about 150 yards, I think. Yeah, I'd say about 150. Uh, no, actually, actually. Actually, pretty close to 200 yards is what I'm going to say. They're way, they're way out there, but you can see them. You know they're there. See, they're about 200 yards, and you know they're there. So, oh, oh, you can't see them good through this thing, through this what I'm showing you. But trust me, the side picture is a lot better than what you're you're seeing. So, all right, Echo One.